do you dread going into work every day because your boss is a bully or an idea thief? Here with tips on coping with a difficult boss is life transition coach Diane Dennis. Good to see you, Diane. Thank we, uh, you. A very quick disclaimer. We were told this morning this in no way reflects our management or our <laughs> boss or our attitudes about our employer. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So that way we can be free to talk. Yes, exactly. You mentioned that there are three different types. We're going to talk about three different types of bosses today. Yes, and there's a lot more than that, but I picked three that are very distinctive that have characteristics that can be quite troublesome. You know, if you have a difficult boss, uh, you're... Um, it affects you physically, right. emotionally, and it can affect your home life. Yeah. So this is really important to know about these different types and what we can do. So, so let's talk about the tyrant is first? The tyrant. Yeah. Okay, it's my way or the highway. This is not a team player. This is not a democracy. He just tells you what to do. Now, the scary part is, is that he can transfer into or go into abusive behavior, harassment, and there is a law. People need to know their rights. In the state of Oregon, Senate Bill 727 just passed last year, and anti-bullying in the workplace. So if you're being harassed, if you're being shamed, I mean, there's some language that I think, gosh, this has happened to me before. Right. If they attack your vulnerabilities, either emotional or physical, if they sabotage your work. So people need to, what you need to do is you need to know the law and you need to document what's happening and to protect yourself, don't be alone with this person if you can help it. Like if they want to go out to lunch or dinner, uh-uh. And don't share personal information because they're going to use it against you. How do you, how do they recommend you document this type of information? Write down, well, when you're in fight or flight, like this person is really making you feel horrible, you are not thinking clearly. So at, while it's still fresh in your mind, write it down the date and the time and, and when it happened. If the company's big enough, you can take your complaints to HR. But if this is really a violation of the law and people should really read what the law is, then they need to get le seek legal counsel and look for another job. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, there's a type you call the persecutor. Okay. When you are working for a per persecutor, you feel like you're going crazy. The persecutor is very tricky. He comes across, he's always picking apart your work, nothing you do is right, and he comes from behind in a way that makes you think you're going crazy. So. Here's what a persecutor is. On the flip side of the persecutor is the rescuer. Because if somebody's picking apart your work, you think, well, if I was in an interview with a person like that, I'd never take the job, right? Mm -hmm. He's not the persecutor in the interview. In the interview, he's the rescuer. So if people are applying for a job and somebody that's interviewing them is using language like this, be careful. And this also translates to interpersonal relationships. What kind of language yeah. are you talking about? Okay, like if he says, or she, I don't mean to say, uh, women are very capable of all of these personality yeah. traits. Um, if he says things like, um, I've got your back, you know, politics in the office can be kind of tricky, always come to me. I'm going to make sure you advance. I'm going to, he's rescuing, right. you know, I'm going to make sure you get here. But he's your, setting the stage, really. He's setting the mm -hmm. stage sure. to isolate you and so get you into you, his web. What do you do once, well, once you're in his web, what do you do? Yeah, so when, be careful and stand up for yourself. What persecutors need to function is a victim, so don't be a victim. And it's very easy to feel like a victim and starting to act like one when because they have some unwritten rules. For instance, he's thinking, the persecutor mind's thinking, well, you know what, I'm not going to um, do this if this person doesn't show up early or leave late or they really look like they have to, if I'm going to invest in them, they have to really put their heart into it. Well, they, they don't tell you that, so you just come to work not you come to work on time. You don't necessarily stay late. And then the persecutor will say, you know, you just don't look like you're into your job that much. Mm -hmm. So what you do is get clarity. Say, you know what, I need you to define what it is you need for me to do because I'm a little confused because it seems like there are things that I'm not doing that weren't really stated. Get clarity. Do not be a victim. And don't co constantly apologize. It sounds keep like you're keeping dignity. notes and writing things down is important. Very quickly, yes. uh, before we run out of time, the idea thief. Oh, these are bad. These make you angry, right? Yeah. Okay, the blatant way of an idea, what an idea thief will do is you'll be talking, brainstorming, hey, I've got a great idea for how this process can work. One, two, three. He or she says, no, that's, that wouldn't work. We've already tried that. This is what would work, and he says the same thing only in his own words. Right. It's, it's, it, How do you protect oh, against that? Oh. Okay, so what you do is when he's asking for your ideas, you say, you know what, I need to go back to my desk and make some notes. So when you give him your ideas, give it to him in writing with your name and date on it. And I would imagine doing that in front of other people is a good that idea. That would well. help. Yeah. Very, you know what? I feel good because our boss is none of these categories. I know. He's wonderful. Yeah, you know, we have a good You boss. are lucky. We, we are. are lucky. And we're lucky you were here today. And <laughs> we've got you, more information on our website. Thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you.